In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the path join command. It's a very powerful tool that needs to be used often. Before I get started, I want to go ahead and set up my layers on my workspace. I'll come over here and select layers. I'm going to tear that off and then I'm going to redock it over here to the right where you see the blue line. When I do that, it comes up and shows me uh, layer one. I'm going to rename this layer by double clicking on it to paths one. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select my brush tool and I'm going to draw some lines and paths. As you can see, I've done that. And I'll come around and I'll do this. Now, at this time, I'll go ahead and hit my black selection arrow and I will select both of these lines here and I'll come up and I'll go down to path join. As you can see, it said control G when I did that. The control G, excuse me, control J is a shortcut which allow you to do this much faster than using this method here. However, if you're doing an ACA, uh, Adobe Certified Associates test, uh, these types of commands are, should be used by using the pull down menus. Now, with that path selected, I'll go ahead and notice that this path is now one continuous path. And if necessary, I can come in and modify any control point on that. Now I'll go ahead and select another line and then object path join. And as you can see, this path has been joined and I can now come back and modify it with my direct selection tool and my convert anchor tool, as you see here. 